Allison Joan Lane joining us, Wyoming Seminary Girls Tennis. Uh, Coach, let's talk about this year's team. Uh, how many players you have coming back and uh, how excited you are about the season? Um, well, I'm really excited about the season. We have um, we had a very young team last year, so you know they're one year older this year and, and more experienced, and that's making a big difference. Um, we have Nicole Joan Lane returning, basically our top three, which I brought today, Emily Urbanski and Shaylee Desai. So, Exciting times. Uh, let's talk exciting. a little bit about the, the, the work that these girls have put in on their own, you know, whether they're involved with the club, they, you know, go hit some balls with their parents or what have you. Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's what I'm seeing. There's such an improvement from last year, and it's because they've been working hard all year round. Um, it, it's, it, it's really hard work, tennis. Uh, you know, it's a very technical sport, so you got to work on it on the off season a lot. Let's talk about your depth this year, uh, how many players you have overall, and you feel like uh, when you go down to the doubles, you have some players that can compete? Yeah, we're really deep this year. Our first doubles team is uh, Christina Sikowski. She's a, a sophomore, so she's a returner. And um, and we have a freshman, uh, Dominica Zaleo, and she's from the Scranton area. Uh, she's just a brand new freshman, and she's a very strong player. So we have a really strong first doubles team I'm excited about that. Let's talk about the league and some of the competition that you play, what you expect uh, going through the league. Uh, well, already, you know, like today we played Hazleton and they beat us last year on every court and just today we beat them 4-1. So that's a huge improvement from last year. So I'm, I'm excited that we, we won this year. Um, so our other loss from last year is with Redeemer and we're playing them on Friday. So we're looking forward to that. Hopefully we can do better. As far as... Uh, Tennis in northeastern Pennsylvania. Obviously, if you if you put in the time, you're going to see some good results. Exactly. Um, but there's just uh, you know you got to either have a tennis coach or you really got to dedicate yourself. You do, and um, we're really lucky that um, Wyoming Valley Indoor Tennis, right in Kingston, has um, has really stepped up with their programming with, for juniors, and that has made a big difference. Um, I think uh, in the area with the juniors, uh, the high school players. There's a lot more programs for them to pick from, uh, a lot of opportunities for them to be on the court all year round. Let's so talk a little bit about when you're working on the basics, yeah. um, you know, serving and then strokes and different things. Uh, talk about the, the amount of hours that you're putting in with your team regular practice. Um, well, preseason was just last week, so we put in uh, about three hours a day. Um, every day and even Sunday we came out and played uh, to prepare for today so we put in a lot of hours and work, girls work hard. Our coach great to catch up with you we wish you the very best. Thank you. Jay Lee Desai joining us from Wyoming Seminary to talk about the tennis team and you're part of it. Uh, let's talk about uh, how much work you put into your tennis game. Yeah I've been playing in the off season and um, we just started preseason which has been really fun so me along with the team you know, we're working every day for like two or three hours about running, conditioning, but it's fun, yeah. How about the, this year's team overall? Some improvement, Coach said, from, from last year. You took on Hazleton. There was a loss last year. You got to win this year, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our single players from last year have returned, and then we're back in the, in the same singles order, which is really good. We have some good freshmen who came, and they're now playing first doubles, which is really good, and I think it's going to be a good season overall, yeah. You're playing number three singles currently. Talk about uh, the other two girls uh, ahead of you and what you like about both of them and what their game is all about. Yeah, so Nicole is our number one and then Emily's our number two. Both are just great players and every time you play with them, it, it, it helps you get better. Their game is just so good. They're both really athletic. Their placements of the shots, it's, it's amazing. So every time I play with them, I, I learn something new from, from both of them. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your brother, uh, what he's up to right now. I remember him, a pretty smart young fella and a, a tennis player. Uh, where's he at? So he, he actually just came back. He was doing an internship in Washington, D.C., but he's moving in in a, in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, he helps me with my game uh, whenever he hits. He, same way, he, he helps me get better and improve in every way. What's it like being a, a student athlete at Wyoming Seminary? It's pretty challenging, but uh, you seem like you're up to the task. Like You go to Sam, you kind of know what to expect. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of work. You got to put in the hours, stay organized. But um, it, it gives back. The team is amazing. They're really supportive and helping you. Um, it, it's it's a good group of girls, and it's it's fun. Just a 4.24 grade point average, by the way. History and literature, a couple of subjects you like. Uh, tell us why. 
I, I like history because it's like a timeline. It's like a time capsule. You can go back whatever time you want, learn about it, and also the present. What we do now is based on what we've done in the past, so it's cool to learn from our mistakes. And li literature is like a door to whatever you want, same way. Uh, you're just a sophomore. Let's talk about the college path. Are you also thinking of going to Harvard? I, it's a goal to go there, yeah, yeah. I have a couple of years before I have to decide for sure, but um, right now that's, that's my number one choice. Let's talk about your, your parents, his role models, and uh, how they inspire you. They're, they're always pushing me to work hard. They always say that, you know, you can't do anything without putting in the hours, putting in the effort. Um, along with my parents, my brother's a big role model. He pushes me to become better, you know, live up to what I, what I do and put in the work no matter what the goal is. I can do it as long as I put in that hard work. we got a long list of clubs <laughs> that you're involved with. Uh, highlight a few or take us through every single thing you're doing because you're busy. Um, yeah, tennis is a big one. Along with tennis, I do mock trial, which is another thing that I love. I like law and I'm really interested in government and political science, so that helps give me the experience that hopefully I'll be able to use one day. Um, I do model UN, which is the same way, it's kind of dealing with foreign policy and understanding current events. But yeah, most of my clubs are related to government or something, things I like. Oh, awesome to hear, Shaylee. Uh, continued success your way uh, on and off the tennis court, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Nicole Joan Lane joining us here on the John Mandola Show, number one singles for Wyoming Seminary. And uh, Nicole, obviously you're having a, a pretty darn good coach uh, who happens yeah. to be your mom. That always helps. Uh, talk about your life as a, a tennis player. Um, you know, I try to get out as much as I can. Um, my mom really helps me out. She really gives me good tips, and um, I can always look for her, for her advice. You growing up, uh, got to look up to, to your sisters playing. Let's talk yeah. a little bit about what that was like and wanting to be like them. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up going to tennis tournaments and ten ma tennis matches and my mom coaching uh, Miss Cordia and, you know, I was always around tennis. Wasn't sure if I wanted to play until high school, but, you know, I really picked up a lot of things from my sisters when I was young and my sisters always really taught me to, you know, keep working towards tennis even if it doesn't, you know, I mean, it's just working hard is just always such a good thing for us. So. Let's talk about your game overall. What would you say some of the strong points are? Yeah. Every tennis player will be critical of what they need to work on, but what do you feel like some of your strengths are? Um, you know, my serve could always get better. Um, I'm always trying to improve that, and my um, my kind of go-to thing is my slice. Um, everybody kind of points that out. Um, but, yeah, definitely my down the line is getting better, and my, my shots are getting harder, and I think I just need to work more on my serve. What do you like about the team this year? Uh, take us through some of the talent that's on the team. I mean, our talent level is so good this year. I mean, our number one doubles in, in Christina and Dominica, they're just, they're really good, really young team. And, um, you know, we're, we're really close. Our team is really great for each other. I mean, we have no drama. And I mean, we, we're so good as a team together. Our singles players are great. And, yeah. Well, you also play some lacrosse. So uh, talk yeah. about what you enjoy about that. What position you play? Uh, I play midfield and lacrosse. Uh, I play all year round, so it's my my first sport. Um, and yeah, I, I play on a team in Philadelphia, and I, I travel a lot for that. Let's talk about some of the clubs that you're involved with at school, because you're pretty busy too. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the uh, SOCA, which is Students uh, Association of Color, um, which is a new club this year. Um, I'm in an environmental club, which is just you know we do some environment stuff. Um, and then um, I'm in True Blue, which is um, Team Spirit, uh, making posters and stuff for, for school, yeah. You enjoy English? Uh, talk about you know what you like about English, and there's a couple different facets to that. Yeah, I mean, English is definitely my easiest subject, and I, I'm more uh, I'm more part of it, I guess. I, I just understand it a lot more, like the readings and the poetry is really, it's really fascinating to me. Now, you're a little more serious about lacrosse and would like to do that at the next level? Yes, I would, yeah. I would definitely like to take that to college, hopefully Division One, Division II. Um, that's definitely where I'm going to be in the future. Mom's not mad about that, huh? No, <laughs> no, I told her that right when I started tennis. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's talk about uh, why you look up to your sister and, and you know, whether it's uh, academics or athletics or, you know, inspiration, uh, why yeah. she's your role model. Um, Natalie really took to both athletics and academics at the same time with a lot of big decisions in her high school career. I mean, winning states and then um, just taking it to the next level, college division one. And um, I really look up to her for academics, taking that uh, high 3.0. And then um, athletics, she's just training all the time and really has a really good work ethic and determination. 
Nicole, we thank you for your time. I hope you have a sensational season. Thank you. I'm with Emily Urbanski here on the John Mandola Show from Wyoming Seminary. And, uh, Emily, let's talk a little bit about it. your junior year, uh, yep. how you're playing your, your tennis so far here early in the season. Um, it's going really well. I played a lot in the off season, trying to improve my game so I could be prepared to play even better this season because um, last season I played second singles as well and I wanted to just improve upon that and um, play even better this season. When you went into the off season, then Coach Joan Lane said, listen, these are the things you need to improve on. Was it just about everything in your tennis game or did you kind of try to concentrate on one part, your, you know, your serve or your forehand? Um, I definitely try to concentrate on my serve and um, getting it more consistent, um, a little more power, but I did work on pretty much all aspects of my game to try and improve them. All right, well, you are uh, also quite busy with all the clubs yes. at school. <laughs> uh, take us through all the handful of things that you're up to. Um, so I try to get involved in a lot of different range of stuff. So I'm in Science Olympiad which um, is just a bunch of different events in different areas of science and we go to a regional competition in the spring. Um, I'm also on STEM advisory board which um, we plan the science events for the school. I'm in math center and writing center which are just like tutoring organizations to help kids out. Um, and then I'm in a few other clubs like artisan club because I do like art so that gets that in. Who's hosting the pool parties when the girls aren't playing tennis and you're having fun? Um, the Joan Lane's hosted at their house, and we just get to hang out, and it's good to bond and get to know people on the team. Math and science, a couple of your favorite subjects. That's yep. why you want to go into civil engineering slash architecture, 4.5 yep. grade point average. Uh, so you're off the charts. Let's talk a little bit about um, just being you and, and being so good in the classroom. Um, yeah, I like math and science because it's really, like, there's always an answer, and it's really, um, I don't know, straightforward, and I definitely like that. Um, and I want to go into civil engineering or architecture because um, they mix the math and science that I like with art because I definitely like doing art. Um, and it's tough balancing school and all the classes with tennis, but when I need to, I just get down to it and I study, and I've had good results, so I'm really happy. All right, Emily, how about a role model of yours? Um, so Simona Halep, as far as tennis players, is my role model. Um, it took her like three or four major finals to finally break through and win the title. And I just find that really inspiring because even though she lost a few times, she got through that, she got over it mentally and finally won. So I definitely want to take that mental strength and put it into my game. Emily, great to catch up with you. Have a fantastic Thank season. Thank you.